Hi there everyone and welcome to a, another video, the second in many for the Stamppalooza that we are currently doing. Today I will be showing you the new Messy Mansion Accessory Kit. The Messy Mansion Accessory Kit comes with several things. The first thing is a template. You can see that there. Let me just um, focus that in for you. This template here, you can see that it comes with different size holes that is for when you use it on your stamping plates the next thing it comes with are two scrapers these are um, an alternative to using the scraper that comes with standard stamping tools which to be fair I've always said a bit rubbish um, and they are also an alternative to using your old credit cards or store cards the last thing that comes in the stamping kit now this is not the one that comes in the stamping kit because I actually don't have mine here um, but you will receive what's called a magic eraser in your stamping kit as well. <clears throat> this um, is for priming your stamping blocks. Um, so when you get a new stamper, this is obviously an old one, you rub it on several times to prime the surface so you get the best possible image you can when you stamp. So what is the stamping um, template for? Well, on the market now you can purchase um, some new stamping plates which are called lead light lacquer stamping plates there are a lot of different brands that are doing this kind of style now um, compared to your traditional stamping plate which is like this um, so when you get something like this you you have to choose where to stamp um, get your stamping image from as you can see obviously your stamper is tiny so you can pick pretty much anywhere to pick a picture where if you have a standard stamping plate you know that that is your square that is your stamper. You're going to stamp there, get it on your stamper, and away you go on your nail. But with the um, lead lighting plates and all the other ones that are similar to this, <clears throat> the great thing is that if you have quite long nails, um, you can make sure that you fit it all in one go rather than with the standard plates. You may actually have to stamp and then stamp again, and it may not all match up when you stamp. This is where the template comes in. The great thing about this template is you can pop it on your plate, and you can actually have a look and you can see this here. Let me grab a, a pencil will do. Um, you can actually see that you can choose where you think you're going to stamp your, you know, get your stamped image. Um, like for example, if I really want that flower, I can pop my stamping plate and I can see that, yep, yeah, that's a great place that I can use. It's got um, the flower in the middle um, and I know that I'm going to get a great image. And then obviously if I want to do the next nail, I can move it across and know that when I do the next nail, it's going to line up with the first one. So you can work your way around and get, you know, an image that goes from your, your pinky all the way through to your thumb and it's all in line. Okay, so what else can we do with these? Well, another thing you can do with them is if you're stamping and you want, say, um, a two-tone effect with two different colours or you want to only stamp a diagonal on your nail, you can actually pop your stamping polish on, cover what you don't want, stamp, then you're going to have a clean, crisp image on one side. You can stamp that and it will, sh it will go in half. I will show you how to do that in a second. Right, okay, so the first way I would use this plate would be to stamp my nail from the template. Okay, so I've popped on a Loki's nail vinyl um, nail apron on my nail because I don't want to get the stamping polish around the outside. You can also use things like liquid latex, liquid palisade, um, and even masking fluid to do this. I use my nail aprons because, well, I sell them, so it makes sense for me to use them. And I find it's a quicker and easier way of doing it rather than having to wait for something to dry. I can just literally pop this on, as you can see here, um, stamp away, peel it off and pop it on the next nail because these are reusable up to 10 times. So you grab your stamping, your stamping template and have a look and see what's going to fit your nail. Now you can see there that, or even doing it this way, that that's probably... A good size maybe that one I'm actually going to use this this middle size here I'm now going to have a look and see where I want to do the image um, I quite like the flower here so the next job for me to do is to pop on some nail polish um, I'm currently using um, celestial stamping polish I find that they do a great range of colors that are very vivid and bold um, I'm going to scrape that down as you would normally but this time I'm going to put the template over where I would like it. See, I want that image there. I'm going to press my stamping look, and there you go, it's on here. Now all I need to do now is to line that up, push it down, 
and there you go there's my image exactly what I wanted from the plate onto my nail the right shape I've got hardly any excess um, and it's exactly what I wanted so you've seen I've done a great stamped image here on my nail as you can see there and that's just from using the template. I didn't have much um, stamping polish on my finger. I just literally had it on my nail. Now, what else can you do with these stamping um, stamping templates? Well, the other thing you can do is you can do a like um, a straight line. So if I pop some stamping polish onto here and then scrape as I would normally. Let's get rid of that excess. Okay, you can then place the template over like this on an angle to get you a great angle. Pop your stamper on and as you can see you can get 50-50. The great thing about that is I can now stamp that on my nail like so. And I've actually only got half the image on my nail but I've got a beautiful crisp clean line. I love that because now I can go back now and stamp on the other side in a different colour. Okay so I've grabbed myself another Celestial stamping polish. This one is called Ruby. It's a beautiful red, very deep red. I'm going to pop some stamping polish again on the plate. Grab my scraper. Scrape. Now this time obviously I've got to do the opposite side. So I'm going to put it that side, grab it on there. As you can see, I've got that on there like that. And now all I have to do is line it up, which I'm going to do now. There you go. And if I can focus that. As you can see, I've got 50-50, two different colours on my nail, which is I think is a very cool effect. Another thing you can do is again use the template. Um, let's pop some nail polish on this little section here. It's quite a cute little section as well. Scrape as you would normally. Now this time I'm going to put a template over the largest one that I've got. I'm going to pick up the polish as you can see here in a great shape. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, if you can see, I'm going to line it up and only press halfway. Now, we have a look there. Oh, you can see that, we do it that way like that, makes it probably looks better. You can see that I've used the curve edge to create a almost a, a half moon effect on my nail without you having to use any kind of um, vinyls or masking fluid or anything like that. Uh, mine's, as you can see, is probably a little bit out of kilter. But you get the idea that you can actually create different patterns and shapes by using this template and a lead lighting plate. Another great thing about the templates, which I don't know if other people have the same problem as me, but you find a lot of plates, and this is number Messy Mansion 43. As you can see here, lots of the plates have tiny little designs. You can see they've got like that's got like a little um, unicycle thing and old guy with moustache cogs and there's a little octopus there um, so they've lots of little tiny things now under normal circumstances when you're stamping something especially if it's in the middle or somewhere like that you can pop your nail polish on scrape it across you get it on more than just the little tiny image that you're after and then when you stamp you end up and I actually show you what happens oh, let's have a look let's say we're looking for that little man okay so we put him on there like that now no matter what way I stamp I'm going to get stuck, if I do it this way, this way, I'm going to get stuck with stamping polish somewhere where pretty much I don't want it. So when I go to try and stamp the image, as you can see, I'm getting part of two other images on there too. So then I've got to try and manoeuvre that just to get that tiny little image where I want it. Okay, so with the template you can avoid this issue um, by putting your nail polish on, as you would normally. Let's pop that on like that getting the scraper, scraping, oh, make sure you get it all in, scraping down, then picking the size that you think you will need, which is that one there. You can then press your stamper down. It will pick the image up for you perfectly by itself. 
and there you go you can pop it on your nail okay by doing that you've avoided getting well as you can see it's got on the back of the template there um, you can avoid getting all the excess polish and just the image the exact image that you want I hope you've enjoyed this video I better take the nail stamping thing off I hope you enjoyed the video um, the stamping template the two scrapers and the um, block comes from Messy Mansion. They retail at $6.41 Australian dollars. Um, as far as I know, they were out of stock, but they are getting more in. Um, if you check out their website, I will put the website for Messy Mansion in the links, along with the names of the stamping plates I've just shown in the, um, in the video. I'll also pop a link in for the Celestial Polishers, um, where to get these from. These are great little polishes um, and they're only 8mm so they don't take up much space at all and you hardly use at any, any at all. Um, and I'll also pop a link in for the Loki's nail vinyls as well. So if you, as you can see here, have a look at my nails actually. I've been using those um, doing this and I don't even have to do any cleanup, not a single bit because they have stopped that altogether. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be popping up another video in the next few days regarding some more stamping things. Thanks very much.